Hey, Quinn, are you there? I was just curious if you're already on your lunch break right now and have a second to talk? Yeah, I'm still on my lunch break right now. What's up? Is everything okay? I just wanted to double check that your mom's birthday was coming up next week. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Man, you really do have a crazy sharp memory. <laughs> oh, I just remembered because we were talking about it not that long ago. But anyways, I was just curious what you normally do for that? Do you have any traditions or anything that I should know about? Um, no, I don't really think we have anything too special that we do. I guess we just kind of see when everyone can meet up and then we all go out for a nice dinner or something like that. And I always send her a nice message for her every year as well. Oh, really? Is that all that you do for your mom? I guess so, yeah. I see. Well, don't you think that maybe it would be better to do something a little bigger? Have a larger celebration or something? Well, we could do that, yeah. But it would be kind of weird to throw a big celebration like that out of nowhere, you know? Why would that be weird? This is your mom's birthday that we're talking about. It's kind of a big deal, you know? No, you're right. It's not that. It's just that my mom is always so busy and I don't know if she even has the time for anything more than a fancy dinner. Oh, come on. That just sounds like some kind of excuse. We should plan a party for her, or at least send her something. Well, I say that, but I'm actually at a flower shop right now looking for something we could give her. Oh, really? You are? I'm so sorry you're having to do this off my mom, Tammy. <laughs> it's not a big deal at all. I like doing things like this. I'm more than happy to be here. Well, I am sure that my mom would love to just get some flowers. And just off this conversation, I already know that your taste is going to be much better than mine, so you can pick out something for her. Got it. I'll go ahead and get some then. I also wanted to get some for our own place anyways. I thought it was about time we had some pretty foliage in our house to spruce the place up. I'm fine with that, but I feel like you're always buying flowers for the house. <laughs> well, that's just because I am. They just improve a space so much. I think they really bring color to anywhere you put them. You can never have too many in your house. I don't have any kind of green thumb and just the thought of having to take care of something like that stresses me out. Well, don't worry. I really like it and enjoy doing it as well, so it's no issue for me. Well, that's good to hear, Elise. And I do know that my mom would love whatever you get her, so thanks again for doing that. It's no problem at all. I'm glad you think she's going to like them. I was thinking of maybe getting her some white roses since she mentioned really liking them that day we went to the botanical gardens together. Not to mention the fact that white roses are a symbol of deep respect for someone in some cultures. So I want her to know how I feel. Oh, really? I had no idea about that at all. Man. I don't think I realized that you knew this much about plants. I think that's really cool, actually. <laughs> well, it's just a little hobby of mine. It's nothing too special. Besides, I feel like a lot of people know about the symbolism behind flowers. Like how red roses can be a symbol for passion and stuff like that. Well, I guess I knew that one. But mostly just from movies and stuff, right? Well, I just want to let your mom know that I really respect her, and that's why I'm getting these. Do you really feel that way about her? Of course I do. Your mom is like, the ideal of all moms. She's calm and cool and nice and sweet and just... Uh, I just want to be like her one day. You say that, but I feel like you've never really seen my mom get upset at someone. Then a different side of her really starts to come out, especially when she fights with my dad. That is true, but I was raised by a single father, so I never really had a mother figure who I could look up to. That's why I want to be good friends with your mom. 
I was actually so worried about not getting along with her before you and I got married, you know? But I guess that there was nothing to worry about since she really is such a sweet woman. Aw, oh, well I think everything you said here is really, really sweet, Tammy. I know that my mom really likes you and thinks that you and I go well together. Thanks for thinking about her birthday. I just hope that she enjoys my gift is all. I told the store to have them delivered to her house on the day of her birthday. If you get a chance that day, I would love it if you could ask her if she got them and what she thinks. Got it. I will be sure to do that for you and report back. Anyways, I guess it's about time for me to get back to work right now. Sounds good, hon. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Quinn? I think that your mom might really hate me. I don't know what I should do. Wait, what? What do you mean? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? Why would you think that my mom hates you, Tammy? Well, it's just... I don't know. I just don't think she really likes me at all. Well, did something happen to make you feel this way? Did my mom say something to you or something? No, no, no. It's nothing like that. But you remember last week when I said that I was going to get your mom flowers for her birthday? Yeah, I remember. You said that you were going to get her some white roses, right? I guess they probably would have been delivered today at some point, yeah? Yeah, that's all correct. Okay, and what about that? Don't tell me that you think she didn't like them. Do you know if they were even delivered today? Did you talk to my mom at all? Well, I wanted to surprise her and see her reaction to the flowers myself, so I was going to surprise her by showing up to her place with a little cake. When I arrived, I saw that she had thrown the flowers I sent her in the garbage. Wait, what? Are you serious? Did she really do that? Well, either way, they were in the garbage. I was so shocked that I just turned around right there and went all the way home without even seeing your mom. And that's why I think that she must not like me. Maybe she never liked me. Now hold on just a second. My mom lives in an apartment building, so the garbage there is everyone's garbage, right? Maybe there was some kind of mistake and those flowers actually belong to someone else. But I thought that your mom had her own garbage collecting service, right? I remembered that when we went over to her place, she explained about it to us. Not to mention the fact that the flowers were wrapped up just the way that I ordered them to be when I bought them. So then I guess she really did throw them away. I even saw the card that I wrote in and signed in there. They had to be the flowers that I sent to your mom. But why would my mom go out and do something like that? I just don't get it. I mean, she's not the type of person to throw someone's gift away like that. And giving the timing... She must have just thrown them in the trash as soon as she got them. That must mean she really does hate me. But you said that she's always so nice to you, right? I don't think she would act that way if she really hated you. There has to be something else going on here. You know, I've actually been really conflicted about whether or not I should tell you about this. But your mom has actually been acting really strangely towards me for a while now. Strangely how? What has she been doing? She's just been acting so coldly towards me. She treats me like I'm some kind of outsider who doesn't belong or something like that. You really think she acts that way around you? I really do. She always seems so distant when I try to talk to her, and I always feel like I'm being ignored. But she's always acting like this around me. Tammy, I'm so sorry that I never noticed this before. You should have said something earlier. I didn't want to worry you or start any kind of conflict between you and your mom. I see, you were doing it for my mom and I's sake. And to think that while you were saying so many nice things about my mom, all of this was happening in the background. I really do respect your mom though. I meant every word that I said about that. And I do really want to try to be friends with her if we can. I thought doing this on her birthday would be the perfect chance to do all that, and now it's all ruined. So that's why you wanted to try and do something special for her birthday. But then she just went and threw those flowers away. 
Do you think that she hates me? I don't know why she would. I know that I don't make that much money and that I'm not too much to look at, but still. And that's just not true at all. You were just fine the way you are. Besides, my mom has never been the kind of person to even care about something like that. I still just can't wrap my head around why my mom would do something like that. It just doesn't seem like her at all. So, then you think that I'm lying about all of this? Do you have any idea how hard it is for me to come to you about all this? I thought you would believe me. Of course I believe you. I know that you don't have any reason to lie to me. Of course I wouldn't. I would never do anything like that. Besides, you know that I'm a terrible liar with awful tells. That is true, yeah. But I still just don't understand why my mom would treat you this way. I do know that I have to put a stop to it, though. You mean that you're going to do something and try to stop your mom? Yeah. I'm going to have a little talk with her about all of this. I mean, what is she thinking throwing away such a sweet birthday present? Oh, Quinn, thank you so, so, so much. I knew that I could count on you. Of course, Tammy. Always. You're my wife and my mom needs to understand that she can't treat you that way. Oh, thank you so much. You have no idea just how much this means to me. I was so worried about coming to you with this. I thought that if I told you, that you might end up hating me too. No, I know that it took a lot for you to talk to me about all this, so I just want to say that I'm so sorry you've been holding it in for so long. Hey mom. Do you have a second to talk? I wanted to ask you about something. Of course I have time to talk to you, son. What's the matter? Did you throw away the birthday present that Tammy sent you? Why would you do something like that? That's so mean. Oh, it's about this. Yes, I did throw those flowers away. But just how did you know that I did something like that? I thought that you were at work. Did you come over? I didn't, but Tammy did, and she found her flowers and card in the garbage. So, it was Tammy that found those things. And then, let me guess, she went running and crying to you, hmm? Of course she did. She was heartbroken after seeing her present tossed away like that. And he just arrived today, right? Why would you throw this in the garbage right away? Oh, really? She was heartbroken. Somehow, I very much doubt that, son. How can you say that, Mom? She was thoughtful enough to get you a present for your birthday, and your first reaction is to bend them? I still don't think that she was quite as affected as she's letting on. Well, then what are you trying to say, Mom? And why are you acting this way? Tammy told me that you were being cold towards her, while I'm messaging you to apologize to her. You still really haven't figured out who your wife really is, have you? And just what is that supposed to mean? Why can't you understand how upsetting this was for Tammy? She got you those flowers because she wants to try and be friends with you and now she thinks that you hate her. You really hurt her, Mom. And I am telling you that I really don't think she's all that hurt. She's not a good person, Quinn. How can you say that about my wife? What do you know about her that I don't? I know what I've seen her do. That's how I know the kind of person she really is. What does that even mean, Mom? It means that Tammy has been tricking you this whole time, Quinn. And I don't like her because I know just what a bad person she really is. That's why I threw away her flowers. I still don't get it. What did you see? What is making you think this way about her? Well, for one, Tammy has another man. What did you just say? You can't throw accusations like that around, Mom. This is serious. Quinn, maybe you should just come over so that we can talk about this in person. I have proof that I can show you that will clear all of this up. I know that all of this is tough to hear. But I want you to come and talk to me, okay?
You really are a horrible little woman. Do you know that? I can't believe you tried to convince my son that I ever bullied you. How could you come up with a lie like that? I take it that Quinn asked to talk to you? That's right. He accused me of bullying you when nothing of the sort happened. But you threw away my flowers, the ones that Just had sent out today. Don't you think that's a horrible thing to do to someone? I would never accept flowers from someone like you. Well, that just proves it then. You do hate me after all. All I wanted to do was be your friend and you treat me like this? What did I even do? Oh, please. You can quit the theatrics. How dare you pretend as if you're not the one lying to my son this whole time? What are you talking about? I seriously have no idea what that could even mean. All right, then. Let me jog your memory. The flower shop that you sent me flowers from is owned by the other man that you're seeing, right? You think that I'm cheating on Quinn? I know that you are. With one of the employees at that store. Am I wrong? Wait a second, what is this? I don't understand. I just happened to be passing by when I saw you in that store some time ago. It was through the window, but I could clearly see you making out with a young man that was dressed as if he was working there. Please stop this! There's no way that I would ever do something like that. You don't even know what you're talking about. Oh really? But did you send me flowers from that same store? Aren't I right? That's just the only flower store that I've ever gone to before. And sure, all the staff there is really nice, but I've never kissed anyone there. I have no idea where any of this is coming from. But you did, and it was with one of the men who worked there. That's not true, you're lying. Well, how about I just go to that store tomorrow and check for myself? Surely, that guy wouldn't mind if your husband stopped in for a chat, right? My husband? What do you mean? It's me, Tammy. It's Quinn. Quinn? Is that really you? I was wondering why you hadn't gotten home yet. I can't believe that you would do something like this to me. And to think that I thought you really just liked flowers. You were really just looking for an excuse to visit your boyfriend at work, huh? No, please, you don't understand. You've really got this all wrong. I didn't do anything. I swear, you have to believe me. I did believe you. I believed you with all my heart. Until my mom gave me a reason not to. With evidence. Evidence? What do you mean by that? What do you think I mean? Evidence that proves what my mom was saying is actually true. She has the photos of you and this flower boy kissing. You're kidding me. She has pictures? That's right. So there's no use pretending that any of this isn't true. That's why you're always insisting on going to the store alone. Whenever I offer to go, you just say that I don't know enough about flowers and it would just be faster if it was just you. No, that isn't true. I just like being around flowers by myself is all. Well, you don't seem to mind when I accompany you anywhere else. Even if it's for things that I don't know much about. But it's just that one flower shop that seems to be a little sanctuary away from home and husband. That's because I just really like flowers, you know that! I thought I did. But now I think that something else has been happening this whole time. And I've proof that confirms it. Just give it up. You've been caught, can't you see that? Please, Quinn, I'm so, so sorry. So you admit it then? He's just an old flame that I used to have a thing for in high school. I didn't even know that he was working in that store when I first stepped inside. But every time I went, he would give me a flower and be so charming. And I bet you use those flowers to decorate our home with. I can't believe that you made me stare at the gifts from your lover every time I would come home. It just makes me sick. What do you have to say for yourself? When 
I just wanted to try and make your mom happy. That's really the only reason I went into the shop that day, I swear. Well, then why did you lie about my mom bullying you? You nearly turned me against my own mother for what? Because she threw away my flowers, so I thought that she might have suspected something. I just thought that I had to do something to get her out of the picture. So the truth finally comes out, huh? Well, it's a good thing my mom did suspect you. You have to understand, I did it all because I didn't want anything to come between you and I. I swear it. And your solution was to make me fight with my own mom? Do you have any shame, Tammy? I'm sorry, Quinn. I'm so, so sorry. I'm going to that flower shop tomorrow and let that man know that he is going to be sued for having an affair with my wife. Wait, no, please, anything but that. And why shouldn't I do that? I'm well within my rights to. And he needs to take responsibility for running around with a married woman. But he thinks that I'm not married. And you can't just barge in and drop all that on him while he's working. So you're even lying to this guy as well? I guess you really have no shame. Please don't do this to him. I'm begging you. Are you seriously trying to protect this guy from me right now? It's not that. I just can't have him finding out that I was lying to him. I mean, we're classmates. Oh, I get it. This isn't about him at all, is it? You just want to defend your reputation before the truth gets out. You don't want your other old classmates to know that you're a lying cheater. Or that your husband left you over it. Or that your husband left you over it. Wait, what do you mean by that? Are you going to divorce me? Of course I am. But, no, why? I don't get it. Why? Why? Because you were having an affair behind my back. And now that I have this proof that you were, it's going to make things go very smoothly for me. Please don't do this, Quinn. I just, I just wanted to have a little fun. Is that really so bad? Please don't divorce me. If you wanted to have fun, you should have thought about that before agreeing to marry me. It seems to me like you put the wrong boys over flowers. The next day I paid the flower shop a visit and explained to the man working there that Timmy wasn't single, was in fact my wife, and that they had been engaged in an affair behind my back. The man was so shocked and immediately apologized. I could tell from the way he reacted that he really had no idea that Tammy was married. That was when I decided that I wouldn't be suing him and instead asked him for anything else that would prove that him and Tammy were actually seeing each other. With so much evidence, the divorce process was very smooth and Tammy had a hefty sum in legal fees from her own lawsuit from me. After that, Tammy went back to live with her father, but it wasn't too long before the rumors of Tammy's infidelity reached him. He was furious and threw her out of the house before he sold it and moved away, too ashamed to live under the same roof as his unfaithful daughter. In the end, my marriage didn't last all that long. In the end, my marriage didn't last all that long, but I'm actually rather grateful that I didn't lose more years of my life to someone like her.